Hey everybody, this is Indiem here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Okay, so in the last episode, we made it to the boss room, and we're gonna go ahead and fight the boss of the forest temple, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this shit! Let's do this! Ugh, I'm so ready for this. Alright, okay. Basically, well, you're probably wondering where he's gonna appear. Well, what you gotta do is walk to the end of the stage, I guess, or the end of the stadium, and the spikes will appear, meaning we can't get out. Wait, Ganon, we're fighting the final boss now. Uh, oh no, oh no. Nah, this is just a. You, th you imposter! You're you're faking. You're not Ganon. You're Phantom Ganon. Right? Okay. So this is just a Phantom boss. This isn't the real Ganondorf. Um, basically, what you gotta do is kind of cool how they did this. So you, you gotta like aim at the photos and one of them's real and one of them's not real you gotta make sure that you're looking for the real one which ah damn it ha. put you back where you belong right okay <laughs> um just be aware of which because he can see well he can come out from behind you and get you from behind so make sure you're looking at every single picture and try and get the real one as well at the same time but mm. Let's see, where is he? Where is he? Okay, right. Damn it! No, that's not the real one. Yeah, okay, now he'll get off his horse, and this is the fun stuff. This is where it comes. Yeah, but. You could do this with an empty bottle as well. I could show you guys that. That's kind of funny if I have an empty bottle. No, I'll do this with an empty bottle. I'm, I'm going to drink my milk. <laughs> Hell yeah! Get that milk down you. Right, okay, let's do this. No, don't you- I wanted a target, I didn't want to do that. This is going to be hard because of my C buttons, but... <laughs> yeah, you can do it with an empty bottle. <laughs> you don't even need to use your sword. Yeah, so I'm playing tennis with a bottle. I'm crazy. What a lovely game of tennis we're playing today, Ganondorf. Looks like you're losing. I've got the high score right now. Oh. No, this is sucking. I'm not. Oh, I, I think I'm going to use my sword. Well, I don't know because it's got. It's hard to hit him with the bottle. <laughs> it is hard to get a hit in with that. It's probably because of how small the bottle is. That's probably why. So I'm just going to use my sword because it's a lot easier. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Shoot that stuff at me. Yeah. Ah. Oh, damn it. At least I have a fairy. I have two fairies, so I'm fine if I die. <laughs> <clears throat> Try not to die, though, because I. Won't yeah, that's better. Hell yeah. All right now, just basically wail on him. Ugh. Use all your most powerful s attack moves as possible, like do the do the thrust attack, do the spin attack. You want to cause it as much damage to him as possible before he gets up. So yeah, let's go in again and do another spin attack. There, he's down, down for the count. I imagine that'd be a lot easier if you had the bigger on sword, but. Yeah, I could try to get that in the next videos, or the next few videos. Hey kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. Oh really? Well, what a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. But you made Phantom Ganon, so if you tried to even... Well, I don't even think you even tried to kill me, but yeah, <laughs> you're a that was a phantom. Anyway, there's a heart container. Let's grab that, and now we're on the second row of hearts, so that's pretty good. The second row of hearts. Anyway, don't go towards the light. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that was an epic boss battle. Yeah. Chamber of the Sages. Oh, we're back here again, huh? I wonder why. Well, we're gonna find out sooner, soon enough. Oh god, it's Saria! What the hell are you doing here? Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of, sage of the Forest Temple. I always believed that you would come back, come because I know you. No? You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. Aww. Yeah, we can. Because we can always be friends. I think that's a song. I don't know. <laughs> I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now please take this medallion. No, why can't we be friends? Why can't we be... Yeah, that was the song I was thinking of. <laughs> anyway, we got the forest medallion. One of six. Yeah, one of six. No, two of six. We've got the light medallion as well. You see the for forest medallion. Saria awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Saria will always be your friend. And I will always be her friend. What what are we doing back here? Back in Kokori well, no, Kokori Forest. So we've done something because there's a sprout a little leaf that never used to be there before. And Holy shit! Ah, Dude, don't scare me like that. You took me right off my feet. Hi there, on the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse on, on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. No problems, dude. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them re recognized, you with your, recognized you with your grown up body, did they? That's because the Kokori never grow up, even after seven years. They're still kids. <clears throat> you must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokori. You are actually a Hylian. I am happy to finally reveal this secret to you. So, I'm a Hylian, huh? <laughs> then why was I in Kokori Forest? Well, we're going to find out, I think. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified, un unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of war, of the war, our highly mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. Oh, so that's how I ended up there, huh? My mother was injured, so she took me in. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny whose fate would affect the entire world, so, she'd, so he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokori, and now finally the day of destiny has come. You are a Hylian, and we're always bound to leave this forest. And now you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do? That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Ferno, break the curses on all of the temples and return peace to Hyrule. Well, no, no problem. I will save Hyrule. I will avenge my mother for whoever gravely injured her. And... Well, yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Well, I think I'll end the video here and uh, carry on doing some more side quests, I guess, in the next episode, like getting some stuff done before we head off to the Fire Temple. So, yeah, um, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, and see you in my next video. Yeah, goodbye.